Yes. Hey, good morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, if you just want to open up about uh, your team, do an opening statement, uh, what you've seen in practice, and uh, your expectations for the season. Sure. Um, we're very excited about this year. We've got um, a very young squad uh, that has a lot of energy, very coachable, and um, certainly has some talent, but uh, unproven talent. And, um, you know, I think that's evident of uh, none of our kids being represented on the all-conference uh, preseason team, which is, um, which is um, you know, which is fine because I think, you know, these kids have to make a name for themselves and are starting to do that uh, every day in practice. So, we're excited about the year, and I look forward to it. Okay, thank you. We'll go ahead and open up uh, to members of the media. Uh, you're reminded to press star 1 to ask a question. Our first question is from Mel Greenberg from Freelance. Okay. Hi, this is hey, the, Mel. Uh, hey, Mel. Hi. Yeah. How, um, one question. How are you all uh, kind of adjusting with uh, the unfortunate injury again to uh, Ashley? Yeah, I mean, it's just it's just an unfortunate thing for, for her and for all of us, really. Uh, you know, what you thought you had coming back and what you really have um, is unfortunate. But, um, you know, it happened the first day of practice, so um, there's not a great time for any of this stuff to happen. But, you know, I think we've been able to, uh, you know, figure out who, you know, who's going to step into her shoes. And, um, you know, she was unproven as a freshman. She hasn't played a game for us, but certainly was highly talented out of coming out of high school. Um, but we're, we are relying on our, our junior class, um, and Kelly Cavallo and um, Michelle Baker and, and Katie Cooster, who had tremendous summers. And, um, you know, we're relying on, on those three to really carry us this year. You know, you you played in the uh, conference, back, of course, back in the day uh, for the alma mater you now coach. And, uh, uh, you know, you get all these terminology, mid-major and all, and, and some people uh, down here in Carolina, where I was yesterday before coming home uh, a little while, uh, ACC were asking uh, uh, if it's a new mid-major poll for conferences. And I don't know if they came up early in the call because I got it a little late. But uh, did the coaches have input in that, or is it something that, that you guys aspire to a higher identity? Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen it. Um, I've heard about it. I haven't seen it. I don't know who generates it. I'm not sure if it's an ESPN thing. I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, but, um, you know, I think it's certainly a place that we would want to be. You know, I think, um, you know, we, we we kind of pride ourselves on that mid-major, high mid-major um, status. And, you know, based on size of school and those types of things. And, um, you know, I think it's certainly something that this group, um, could be, uh, you know, could be recognized for us if, if they continue to work as hard as they're working. I know over the uh, over the summer, uh, I watched uh, Katie Cooster play a lot, and uh, has she picked up where she left off in the summer? Because she had a tremendous summer in the league in Philadelphia. She did have a great summer. She, um, you know, she's improved in all areas of her game and. Um, you know, not just being one-dimensional as a, as a shooter, but as a scorer. She's really, really done a great job for us, and um, she's one of our co-captains this year. And, um, you know, she's really, really been consistent in practice, and that's what we're, we're really looking for, some consistency, and she's been giving us that on a daily basis. And, you know, I think she's going she's gonna, to uh, turn some heads this year. Okay, thanks a lot. No further questions. All right, now. We'll move on to Patrick Dillard from Sports Radio 1030. Coach, you talked about uh, the need for your returning players to prove themselves. How has that translated into the intensity level in your first couple weeks of practice? Well, I think they see an opportunity. Um, you know, there's not a, a, a four-man senior class in front of them, and um, I think that they, they see the opportunity in front of them, and they're really, um, you know, they're, they're proving themselves in, in ways that um, you would expect from a senior class, you know, as far as leadership qualities um, and, and even performance qualities. And, uh, you know, they're ready. I think they've, they've paid their dues, uh, the junior class, and, um, you know, they're ready to step into some primary roles where they were secondary kids last year, but very strong secondary kids. We played 10 strong kids last year, and, um, you know, they're, they're, they were certainly part of that, if they weren't starting, they were certainly part of that uh, sixth, seventh man off the bench. Great. Thank you. 
Our next question is from Shane White from 1660 Information Radio. Good morning, Coach. Good morning, Shane. Um, just a quick question for you about uh, your newcomers that you have coming on this year. Uh, it looks like it's continuing a pattern that we've seen in, in several of the other teams in the league of getting some international experience and some international flavor to your uh, to your roster. How have those players been able to adjust or um, assist in your practices, and uh, what do you think that says about the conference as a whole that's attracting more international players? Well, I, I think if you look at the history of it, too, if, if you look at um, – some of the teams that have had foreign players, um, you know, I, I think you'll see Duquesne, uh, St. Joe's, GW's having to be more than what they have now. Uh, I think they, they're probably one of the ones that started it. Um, but these um, these players have adjusted very well. They're very strong academically. Uh, they're very focused in the classroom. They want to please on the court. And, um, you know, we're very happy with our three foreign kids. The one kid, um, Van Grisden, who's a junior college transfer, um, you know, fills a need for us in the, in the post position as far as, um, you know, a five-man back to the basket can score. And then our sophomore, Maria Villa from Spain, has kind of been that bridge for the for the, these newcomers coming in. She was here as a freshman, didn't play a whole lot, had a great summer, made her national under-20 team. Um, they came out with the bronze one one point shy of, uh, I believe it was Russia, but she's coming in with more confidence. And then um, it also got Frida from, from Latvia. Um, it's just getting better every day. I mean, she's um, she's bought into what we're selling. She has been great in the classroom. And, again, none of these kids spoke great English uh, before coming to the States, and they've really made great strides. And, um, you know, I think it's going to help us um, recruit more foreign players, but also fill a need that. You know, sometimes we're we're losing players to um, to Big East schools or ACC schools, and um, it gives us it gives us a little bit of parity in those regards recruiting. Excellent, thank you, Coach.